Well, come on in. Let's see if this works. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you around the house. And, you know, these are times when I wish, I so flippin' wish that uh, we lived in a Star Trek universe so that way I could just... There's a few people, obviously, I would love to have uh, beamed over and stuff like that. Um, am I at the maximum? Oh, there we go. That's why. Sorry, guys, if I'm uh, if the thing's freaking out. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you around. I'll try to go slow. So this is my, the front bit of my whatever. Hopefully I haven't left anything crazy revealing, but oh well. Um, the people who I really want to see are, you know, completely into it anyway, so, yeah. So whatever. So here's my front little lobby thingamajig. And then, um, this is what I see, obviously, before I get in and, um, as I leave. So there's a couple of my tin whistles and, um, some pretend, uh, flowers, which I haven't sent off to my mom yet. And then, um, uh, traveling journal my um, that journal is for um, my narrative journal like my role-playing journal and then the Western front pin that I'm trying to wear as much as uh, possible which I forgot today uh, for one uh, little trip and then there's a plaque that uh, Zoe made um, Marley that was our dog and uh, I think she did an awesome job Anyways, it's it sits here. It's got yeah, uh, superstitious kind of thing for me, and this I got. And this is my water thing. You see how scummy, gross it is. I just that used to be all uh, way worse. Believe it or not, I haven't never cleaned it. Well, I shouldn't say never. Obviously, I did a little bit, but it's been like that for years. I never clued in. It's actually clear. It's supposed to be clear through, and it's been so cloudy. It's just been, you know, gathering um, red algae and what. I just never clued in. Well, I don't know what happened, but I did. Anyways, I got this at the White Elephant Exchange thing at work today, and um, I actually stole an item to get this. I my my first item was a chunks of sulfur, which I wanted to keep, and I feel sorry for the person that ended up getting it because I did uh, crush some to smell it. But uh, this I want to uh, go and get engraved so I can put the 97th Landwehr Brigade. And as soon as I saw it, I went, "Well, sorry, I think it's a feminine thingamajig, but tough. Um, I'm gonna wear it." And um, I'll show you what my living room looks like. Oh, hey, Leo. Hey, puss. Hello, puss. So that's what you would if you were going to show. <coughs> excuse me, show up. Um, or this is what I'm doing right now. So I've got the um, the Ottoman map over here, or what I'm calling the. Uh, this is part. Well, not the top part actually, but this part is I'm calling the um, Arabian conflict zone. Uh, that part up here is part of the Black Sea conflict zone. I've divided, I don't know if it, what I've uh, mentioned in previous whatevers, but i um, divided the Earth into 12 conflict zones. There's the Alpine Adriatic, African, Atlantic Pacific, which includes Australia, Asian. Oh, hold on, I can go and grab the uh, Lord knows what. So. Yeah, this thing has just been... But the thing is, my mind has been going so much into... This is one thing I so want to wish about transporting. I'd love to beam a couple of these people over and go back. Like, you know who you are, man. Um, I'd love to just beam me over here and have you like a, just a weekend good old chat or just an afternoon chat or whatever. And beam back, you know, beam over to San Diego or Washington State, that type of place. You know, you get the idea. Um, yeah. Uh, actually, I did some did some moves. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, oh, don't let, let's not forget Australia. Holy left. I wonder what the um, the beam rate cost would be if it you know if it works that way. If it's like a long distance beam rate or something, um, there must be a book about it. Um, I did do some movements. Um, I'll talk about it later. But uh, oh gosh, it was fun. Uh, this will, yeah, I'll maybe do an overhead thing, and this is, I'm just putting the plane there to kind of like, I wish I had some reconnaissance over there to find out what the hell's going on. Like, I need to, I wouldn't mind finding out what the strength points are over here. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, like I said, I'm just going to keep on going on how long this freaking video is, and it's maybe just god-awful horrible, tough. So, and then I've got the modern-day, modern-day-ish world map, and then I've got a shrunken down three maps or whatever this whole beautiful thing and I've starting been I've been reading up on sustainment and it's not going to be uh, trust me there's not going to be this big massive force uh, it's they just can't sustain them uh, there's just no way even if they get uh, Doris 
um, it's still only two one ports and it, and there's uh, the odds of them ever getting Scolari I would find that uh, I would be uh, that would be surprising considering the austro hungary but oh my god if this happens uh, well regardless it's going to happen it just may be it may be so bad for the British if the Albanians uh, uh, provide uh, harsh resistance um, Think about it, it's going to cause a drawing of forces from the Austro-Hungarians, even though they thought everything was going great, uh, you know, towards... Oh, God! Anyways, let's go towards the... I think it's in this journal. All my C-zone, or all my zones. Um, hold on here. Uh, I'm doing all kinds of crazy-ass shit. Yeah, so... Um, Alpine, Adriatic, African, Atlantic, Pacific, Arabian which includes Egypt and Persia, uh, Asian, Balkan, Black Sea, uh, Eastern Europe, Indian, Mediterranean, which includes North Africa, it's like Tunisia and whatnot, uh, uh, Northern Seas, which is things like uh, the North Sea, the Baltics, that, that type of place, and Western Europe. And um, that's where I'm going with uh, so far. Like I said, I'm just doing whatever, man. Um, this is always my go-to happy place. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I spent so long uh, off in uh, strategic land, though. Uh, when I came back here, I was just like snapping back into like, whoa, I got to like worry about terrain and all this stuff. I will talk, wait until we go towards the um, um, the Western Europe um, conflict zone. Oh, yeah, there's another thing. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm not really into theaters, uh, theater of operation things. I probably did mention it. And other people who are into it are say, stick with the history or whatever, are like, um, oh, God, it's going on about that again, yeah, sorry. Um, so that, this is my, yeah, we've seen this before, so that's my whatever, it's abandoned map, I guess, in some ways. I'm still using the calendar, um, whatever. Like I said, I still do, I'm still doing all the stuff, even if it hasn't been included in the live stream uh, stuff. And there's the other thing, I've been, I've been pretty darn happy lately. I'm, like, things have been connecting, and maybe I'm going to go back into whatever land, but uh, I've just been trying to be um, more going towards my pace and trying to stay in the moment type of, of stuff. So, um, yeah, just l listening to some Howard Hansen. And, um, yeah, actually, this is where I sleep. So I've been sleeping here for decades. So, um, uh, poor Zoe, eh? bringing people over. Oh, Jesus, jumping mother. And so, yeah, I'm doing my live streams from bed, <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh. So there you go. Um, yeah, this is just, well, this is my heaven place. Um, I can, like, narratives and stories, and uh, I've got so, it's, um, I don't know what else to say, man. I'm just having a lot of fun. There's, you know, I mean, there's days sometimes, or there's lots of times where I'm like, God, you're not even, you know, playing by, like, do you even, and I'm like, yes, you do. You do know how to play a real hex and counter board game. Um, but it's just like sometimes I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, man? Anyway, so I'll show you what I've also been up to. Um, partially, I just had to stop because I get tired every once in a while of doing it. But I love stencils. Uh, so I wanted to do my... This is just a prototype or whatever. Um, but uh, hopefully get an idea of what I want to do for um, uh, making a proper calendar at some point. But I love also... It kind of gives me that kind of a military look, if that if makes any sense. That's what I've been working on um, a little bit. I haven't... Uh, I mean, like I said, I've just been trying to pace myself. So after my first sleep, um, did some laundry, and actually I had to go and get some Tika Cat for uh, Leo. And boy, man, you want to talk about a difference in his hair quality? Just because he's getting sardine oil and everything else. So uh, that's about it. And then I've got the standard rules there, and then the other stuff there. I got some stuff to uh, send away. And then um, hold on. Yeah, I'll leave the light on. Oh, God, my electricity bill. Jesus Murphy, mother of God. And this is the dining room, which used to just be basically, well, this type of stuff and um, miniatures. And now it's in a transition zone. It is so freaking weird. There was at one point in time, I was like, there's no way in hell I would ever, like, nothing gets in here unless it's miniature related. Well, you can still see my Asher Bani Pal um, thing that overlooked everything kind of thing. And I've even got my... Um, that, that I didn't, well, I made the chart, but I didn't make the structuring. I, I did little tiny fiddling. I didn't come up with that. That was a uh, somebody who, um, um, darn it. I, uh, oh, gosh, I can almost uh, 
taste his name, uh, the uh, the username, the avatar. Oh shoot, it's coming, coming. I can see his picture I, perfectly. Um, it's a Roman centurion. Oh, Stevie. Uh, on uh, DBA Fanaticus forum. Anyways, he made that. Uh, he's awesome for freaking DBA uh, on that forum. Anyways, I'm sure um, controversial, but um, he's opinionated. Then so are we all, right? This is my table that I'm just using for um, reference books and stuff that gets popped out and whatnot and so on and on and on. Oh my god! I think I showed all the freaking answers to the crossword. Oh shit! Oh my god. Well, actually, no. Um, hmm. How am I going to do this? Yeah, I'll figure it out. And that was the latest issue of Stand 2 that came out. Ah, for Christ's sakes. Maybe I'll try to uh, edit it or something. I don't know how to do that. I'll have to talk to him. <laughs> like, uh, maybe you'll say if you, get, if you give me a free clue or something, free extra clue. So as you can see, this used to just be miniatures oriented and, and now it's in a transition zone and bring, I'm popping all the books whatnot and there's still some leftover miniature whatnots um that have to be um sent away and uh, this stuff is getting has been transferred from my crafting room upstairs which is turning into my modeling room which is so bizarre um i'm happy but uh, it's just crazy um so this is a model also way back when i wanted to do it i never got around to it what i'd like to do someday um, Barbary Pirate 1 to 250 just looked simple enough. I've always wanted to do a tall ship thing, but I was like, no, the, the real tall ships look way too complicated. And this funky thing, I picked it up for a friend. I never sent it to the person. Old Victorian model, but I just thought, uh, I kind of picked this up. This is just something to, um, you know, who knows, maybe get some crazy, um, uh, oh my gosh, maybe we should go and take a look and see if Magister Militum has... Um, um, any like uh, spooky type miniatures that would fit that scale that'd be interesting 187 so mm, 172 would look a little bit big I guess but maybe not too too big well we'll see I've screwed the scale like you have no idea anyways that's it I'm uh, still got and then I got my 3d printed miniature castle crap stuff up there and um, whatever my two stuffed animals, um, Sonny the Bunny and Ralph. I'd, well, I've had Sonny the Bunny before I can remember. Uh, Ralph was kind of like a companion. Um, and they're still hanging out. Oh, Sonny the Bunny's in rough shape though, man. Rough shape. Missing an eye, missing an ear. <laughs> it's like Leo. <laughs> uh, and I've got all this stuff. Um, you know, the counters and everything. Still in transition. Still organizing, man. And so we'll turn this light off now. Oh, do you want to see what Zoe looks like? I always love this picture. I don't know if I've ever shown it to you, but um, I always think of it as um, what what a human being looks like uh, just before they become converted into a Cyberman. Um, just a very amazing. Uh, you can't use that image, by the way. That's um, not my image, and I'm sure the person who did it. So the free use or whatever that doesn't work for that one. I hope you can just say. I'm just saying right now. So don't use it. That should be copyrighted. That's a piece of actual art, uh, like a photograph from a piece of art. So and I don't think, um, yeah. So don't do it, Google AI, crazy people or whatever. Sorry if I'm doing that, but I'll show you the. And of course my. Kenex fridge map, darn it. Well, I hope to God he's having fun in uh, uh, Fatal Alliance's land. If you ever got to do it. There's a nice little baby in my fridge. And um, this coffee maker. Oh, okay, I'm going to tell you, just in case you, you don't hear from me and you're like, well, where's Chris? And it's like he probably you know, had catastrophic failure and died. Um, my coffee intake, it's probably better to... Um, use units of measurement in liters, um, just to say. Um, I'm probably averaging maybe three, uh, let's say about three and a half liters a day. So, <laughs> and you can imagine with my sleep uh, schedule and everything else, like, oh, God almighty. So, uh, yeah, pretty stupid. Like I said, something's going to happen. So street, there's my strategic map. Um, i just pop these things out. i got to start thinking about sustainment and how many hexes away and 
I'm starting to write a little bit about uh, the ports and what they can or cannot do, um, as you can see here. Yeah, and this and that painting, which is uh, I grabbed from up the street, and I'm hoping I can go to the neighbors someday and say, "Hey, man, can you just sign the flipping thing?" I know you wanted to throw it out, but you know, geez, oh gosh, we get to, to take a look at the the nice map, which I wanted to show you. Hold on, can I turn off some lights just because you know? I know it's off um, off peep, but still, hold on. So. You'll just have to bear with me, man. So I said it would be much better if we could just beam each other over. All right. Yeah, so this, well, this little micro map. And I moved this over here, which is great. You know what's cool? Is every time I go downstairs, because now I'm reinforcing it because I always see it. I keep seeing where puppies grow, and I'm like, what the hell? Of course, that you know, so like I said, I keep... I'm laughing about it, so it's uh, I re it's reinforcing. So this, oh my God, you're not gonna, well, you will believe it. And this is another thing which I'm loving about this game. I'm not saying specific, specifically, it's, but it certainly facilitates it, is that I am now doing things, and this has happened before, but th my thinking or strategy, I've got to change the colors for the British, or even in this color, and it's worse on the, on, uh, the viewing is that um, these are red, one, two, and three, and they just look barely different. So I'll, I'll go and repaint them, um, which I'll do very quickly uh, later. Um, so the Mets offensive here, I'm not kidding you, man. This freaks me right out. Um, so when I was noticing this, I was like, okay, we're gonna have to start talking to the British as the French to say, look, man, you're gonna have to start taking more of the line here, which is not a good thing for what the British wanna do down in, uh, uh, you know, for Epiphany, the Epiphany Offensive, and or the Ninth Crusade, and um, uh, uh, what they want to do in Albania. Like, you know, there's, they're going to have a lot of troops committed that way, and now you've got the French asking them, by the way, can you extend, uh, take more of the load up north, because we need to do mountain offensive over here, and we need more troops for the whole shebang. And I'm not flipping kidding you, man. I was reading in uh, the, the latest issue of Stand 2, let's go upstairs. I'll show it to you. I'll just, uh, no, we better stay here because my mind will go. Um, so I'm reading the latest issue of Stand 2, and Joffre is uh, bitching and whining with, I think French is still around at the time. Yes. And uh, saying, look, man. Um, oh, yeah, for sure he is. And uh, look, we need uh, you guys to take more of the line here because we're promoting the offensive. And I was like, what the hell? And we need re reservists. And I was like, oh, my God, this is awesome. This is exactly what I was like. You know, I was like, OK. Um, and I, don't know, I was just like, sounds good to me, man. OK, let's go upstairs. Yeah, so this has been, but yet again, when I you know snap back into the, the other terrain line, because this is not the way I'm looking at it. Um, it's got a long way to go, but I'm going to, so the, for the Entente, it's going to be, um, if I did it that way, where when you go to a mountain offensive, you have to make, where's the target and you, and a diversion and, you know, how much supply and whatnot you're going to put towards it kind of thing. It's a long way to go, man. I love thinking about it though. Um, so they're going to go towards Metz and their diversion, I thought was, uh, Oh shit, I thought it was Verdun. I'll check, but I thought it was. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I'll have to go. I don't know if I wrote it down yet, but I thought it was fairly close. Yes, because I, th um, uh, I think, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, the Central Powers, I thought was, well, their uh, one is Bethune for sure. And um, right over here. And I thought they wanted to do a what did they want to do theirs? I thought it was not, you know, no, it was something not close to, maybe they were Verdun. Yes, 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 the central powers are there. So they're awfully close to Metz, which means where the hell were they? Hmm, figure out, maybe it's Rem or something like that. Anyways, it doesn't, like, I'll do that later. But, you know, you can see where, we're at, where I like to think and think about things. So off we go. And there's the, um, oh shoot, sorry the cross stitch, which are not being replaced yet because it's, it's just a really bad spot for me to look at maps. But if it was better, I would, uh, it would be annexed. 
And this got changed. This used to be in the other in a hall, uh, in another hallway, but now it's over here. And uh, these paintings or prints or whatever uh, pieces of art got uh, annexed, and I haven't figured out where the hell I'm going to put them yet. So um, they're there. Um, oops. Um, Turn that one on, and then got this guy that I got from the 8th Annual um, Military Hobby sh Store. That I got from a person at the Ottawa, uh, sorry, the, um, the Knitting and Stitching Show um, a few years ago. All right, so normally I would have that, those drapes open and the um, whatevers, um, the window open and whatnot, but I don't want the neighbors to go, what the hell is he talking about? So this is in transition as well. This used to be my crafting room uh, and paper supply area or whatever stationary store. <laughs> Because I I've got a lot of it, but um, it's now being trans uh, transferred into the my modeling painting thing actually, and this is a big thing. I should be moving all these freaking um, um, maps and stuff like that uh, to a non UV place, uh, like a dark, like in a closet. This is ridiculous. So and I've got my RPG stuff and whatnot. So there, that, that's probably going to stay. Um, I've been thinking about moving it, but uh, the ironic thing is the diner table I was using over here with this little round thing, you'll see it in a minute, um, it was just not big enough. And um, Stefan and Zoe dropped, uh, dropped this tiny little metal table off, and I had this fake thing I made over here, which was not good at all. It kept sagging and so on and so forth, but it doesn't sag anymore because it's on the metal thing. And it just extends enough that... Um, it um, doesn't sag on the ends, so that's great. And um, <laughs> I've got a, a much better table. So in the, I'm in the middle of doing, hold on, I gotta grab my reading glasses. Ouch. So I'm in the middle of uh, doing this guy. So this is the 172 uh, Fokker DR1, and it comes with this ridiculous, um, um, I'll, see, I'll see if I can zoom in. I shouldn't. I don't think it wants me to. Um, so it's got that cockpit thing, the jig, and no pilot. So I'm I, I'm doing the outside of the plane is going to be proper, but I'm not doing the Red Baron. I'm going to do uh, someone else. Um, uh, anyway, so just starting. It's going to take me flipping ages. I couldn't care less because that's not the point for me. The point for me is uh, to just do it. Um, it's very, you know, uh, I get to think about other stuff, uh, calms me down, uh, the whole nine yards. So, um, you know, I don't know, like I'm starting to learn, I guess all that stuff must be like the, the ways like to pull the wheels and, or the rudder stuff, all those weird lines. I was trying to figure out what the hell those things are. So I'll figure out that later. I don't know what the hell that thing is in the middle of that, that little, I don't know if you can see that, but um, that little thing here. Oh, hold on. I'll point. So this thing here. This thing here. I don't know what the hell that is. The thing in the middle. Um, that's something even better than that. Yeah, I do. So, yeah, this thing here. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, I'll try to figure that out. So, yeah, been having fun. And I got to do my lovely copper there, so that was great. <laughs> so, and then I um, picked up today um, this peat up. I really want to do World War One jigsaw puzzles. So I'm going to learn how to make my own jigsaw puzzles, but just for now, I'm going to take a picture, overlay it, just see what it, what it's like to cut um, shapes. What's funny is talking to somebody, and uh, I was like, how? I was like, I want to do it by hand. How did they do it by hand back in the day? And the person looks at me, they're like, with a jigsaw. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I loved it. I love it. I love when I get these stupid revelations. So this is the other modely do leaves. Yeah, I picked these up uh, with Rob on the weekend. This is a one to forty-eight scale. I don't think it's massive size. Um, I don't want to go through them all, but I just wanted to show you the size difference. Look at the size difference. I think this is. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to one seventy-two. But Jesus Christ, that is mind-boggling and they they had at the store 1 to 32 um, and 1 to 16 oh my god I don't think they had any 1 to 16 biplanes oh by the way see these two little trucks they're working great for doing this 
letting things uh, dry the glue dry. But anyways, I like this Br Bristol B uh, F2B, but I really, really want to get a uh, 1 to 72 now because I'm going to shy away from the 148. Um, I just wanted to get it out of my system. It's kind of like a monster game for me, I guess you could say. Um, I want to go to uh, get um, uh, the De Havilland DH4 Liberty uh, version, which is the American uh, version of the uh, the DH4. It had the Liberty engine instead of the Rolls Royce engine, as far as I know, and it looks wicked. So uh, I'll show you the other tiddly bits. I'm going to turn this off. I don't want this anymore. Yeah, my old ye old D and D books and stuff like that. There's actually this. Um, side uh, book I've been looking for for ages. Uh, it wasn't made for, it was made for D&D, &D, but it wasn't by them. It's not Fiend Folio type stuff or any of that stuff. It was a soft cover book. I have it somewhere. I just don't know where it is. And it's a mythology book. And I wanted to go and look at it for Meandering Mike because it's got some uh, really uh, obscure stuff. Um, and uh, it's like, oh, darn. But, uh, and I've got my RPG stuff in there more. I gotta do it all, but you get the idea. And then a bunch of my various sized mini uh, miniature stuff. I'm gonna go through it. But I just wanted to give you a little my one to seventy twos, my old uh, one to seventy two ancients. Not very many of them, but I've got them there. And then my one to seventy two uh, War of eighteen twelve. I've got a trill. Well, not a trillion. I got quite a few. That is nuts. And then notebooks. And then. Like I said, when I've got a little tiny stationary store. That's all my extra notebooks. <laughs> Journal writing, man. I'm really, like, it's this because of the game. I, I haven't been, uh, I, and I love note taking. So, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, let's go to the other thing. So I'll show you what's been also going on. So this is, you know, I mean, all these things get done and are interacted with in a day. So this is what annex the, um, the uh, rumble and the what do they call it? Rumble on the Asanzo poster. So yeah, I just popped the full size version. This is not the proper colors, but such is life. And um, this is the original, the the goat, the uh, the the end all be all map for me. And this was the first one. Um, my God Almighty! And I was like, yeah, I gotta keep that. There's some more posters. I just slap, I just slap happy popped on. And then, jeez, oh, yeah, I wonder what this thing is going to freak out about. And in my other room, um, I popped these out because we're going to go do some uh, Hoser House rules stuff. I still got the, well, you'll see in a minute. And, um, yeah. Just taking a look. Uh, I, I'm going to focus more on the game-related stuff, to be honest with you. So I've got the Tannenberg thing out. And that's the other thing I've got to, um, like, I really want to get a proper game out by May. And um, that's a bit, that's an important thing for me for a lot of reasons. Um, and I just realized, oh my gosh, I'm going to be probably taking a month off. And I'm like, well, I'm going to devote then um, a significant percentage to just uh, working on that. That would be wonderful. As well as there was another thing I've been, um, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to work on the other things until I get the map done. I'm like, you're wasting time. There's lots of idle time. Well, I'm like, get whatever you can do done for the other things and jump to the other stuff like the rule writing like uh, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy but um, some of that transcription is going to be quite you know that could be done it's like come on man move your butt um, so I've got the DBA thing out for two reasons one to remind me to do the hoser house rules video of my um, um, command and control thing and I wanted to show later, I'm going to do the my book for 69 Albanians for, well, because um, Manny and Mike's in, <coughs> doing, my, uh, doing the Albanians in my uh, game here. And then I've got this, um, this is my round dining table, uh, the diner table that I said I wanted to um, get rid of, which I did. So and then we'll go to the, sorry, here, and I'll tell you what's been going on here quite a bit. Um, I'm going to, should do a separate video for the axis. Yeah, I will. Because that's not fair. Because um, that is a separate playlist thing in the jig. So there's been a lot of action on the Axis and Allies front. <laughs> oh, brother. So um, yeah, it's been a lot here, but uh, I got to do that video as well. So that's it. I should leave it leave it here because um, it's going to be one hell of a long video. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll just um, I'm doing some kind of editing thing. I don't think I'm doing a very good job of it, but we'll see. Okay. <laughs>